Mitosis is the process during which an existing parent cell divides into two new identical daughter cells. The claymation video that follows details this extremely important process. The first stage of mitosis is known as interphase. This accounts for about 90% of the cell cycle. During interphase, chromatids exist in, in a chromatin network within the nucleus. This nucleus is bound by a nuclear membrane and contains a nucleolus. Outside the nucleus, a centrosome exists in the cytoplasm. The next stage of mitosis is known as prophase and during, er during early prophase and the nuclear membrane still exists but the cell, the nucleolus has disappeared. Chromatids have started to divide, has started to duplicate and the centromere that existed earlier has now formed two centrioles. During late prophase, the chromosomes continue to coil and appear as double chromatids. The, the chromatids are each joined by a centromere to form chromosomes. The centromeres which are now centrioles have moved to the opposite poles of the cell. As they do so, they form the mitotic spindle between the poles. We now move on to metaphase, during which the chromosomes become aligned at the equator of the cell. During early anaphase, the chromosomes are pulled to opposite poles of the cell. They are no longer chromosomes, but are now chromatids. In late anaphase, we see that the chromosomes, now chromatids, have moved to the opposite poles. Lastly, we have telophase, which is characterized by the formation of two nuclei. The two daughter cells that, are exi that exist are bound by nuclear membranes and are identical. This is the last stage of mitosis. Lastly, we have cytokinesis, which is the division of the cytoplasm. During cytokinesis, we see the two nuclear membrane brown cells containing nucleolus, e a nucleolus each, and they are, e they are separated by a cell wall. We, we hope, hope that this video has helped you to understand the important process that is mitosis. Thank, Thank you. you.